Here we are back again with another wild and crazy video. If you have not seen the video where I spray painted this fishing rod or this entire bait caster combo, I'm gonna link that above. You'll see it popping up right now. I'm also gonna link that down in the description below. But in today's video, we're gonna be flex sealing a St. Croix fishing rod. I know that may sound absolutely crazy, but I like to do crazy stuff here on this channel. So if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Turn that notification bell on that way you don't miss any uploads. And with that said, we are going to get to uh, taping this rod up, taping the guides. We don't wanna flex seal over the guides. And uh, stay tuned in this video because I'm gonna be giving away this Florida Fishing Products Osprey 1000. So like I said, stay tuned a little bit later in the video so you can find out how to enter to win this spinning reel right here. Let's get to flex sealing. All right, we've got our rod taped up now and we're about to flex seal it. I've never flex sealed anything in my entire life. So here we go. I don't even know how we're gonna do this really. I don't even know, what does it look like? <gasps> It's thick. It's really thick. All right, how do we, what, what does the directions even say? Eight to 12 inches from surface using a sweeping motion. Okay. Oh! <laughs> this looks crazy. Comment down below what you think is gonna happen to this rod. Do you think, okay, this is a medium light rod. Do you think this is gonna make the action of this rod like a broomstick, like really stiff or, do you think it's gonna have any effect on the rod at all? We're gonna find out together. It smells like uh, the inside of a tire. Yo, this is nuts. Look at the texture of the rod. All right, we've almost got the whole thing flex sealed. Let's scoot this way a little bit and not flex seal my truck. I'm not even kidding when I tell you guys, I can already feel it's a little bit stiffer. When it dries, I really think it's gonna be a broomstick. Now, we have the entire rod flex sealed and Trey behind the camera just brought something up. I handed him the rod to feel it. It feels heavier. I guess it makes sense when you really think about it because you're adding, I don't even know what this, when it sprays, like what is this even, is it like rubber? I don't even know. So it says to let this stuff dry 24 to 48 hours, but we're gonna let it dry for about two and a half, three hours. And then we're gonna take the kayaks out and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish on it and see what kind of effect it has on the action of the rod itself. I'm super excited to get out there, get on the water and see how exactly this flex seal affects this fishing rod. With that said, don't forget to like the video because who else do you know is flex sealing fishing rods? Who, nobody, nobody. You don't know anybody doing it. We'll see you guys here in a minute. It is go time, ladies and gents. We're gonna unwrap this rod and see how, uh, how it looks. Let's see how it feels first. It feels, it's definitely dry. It feels stiff, the rod is, Wow, it does feel stiffer, I'm not gonna lie. So I wrapped the logo up just so we could see the difference in, wow, it's literally added thickness to the rod. Look at that, you can, you can see where it actually added thickness to the rod. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, well, look, yeah, you can definitely tell right there on the top part. All right, let's get everything unraveled and unwrapped and let's get the kayaks on the water and do some fishing. Oh, there we go. First fish, second little flip, first fish. There we go. Oh, oh, this is one of those fish. Last time I caught one of these, I had no clue what it was. Now I know exactly what it is and I know I'm not gonna touch it. It's a Mahara is what it's called and it's Primo snook bait. You guys were a massive help identifying this fish last time I caught it. So thank you very much if you were one of those people. But there we go, a Mahara, Primo snook bait. First catch of the day. You know what's crazy is I'm sure you guys have already put in the comments your predictions on what this rod is going to feel like and fish like. And just from pitching it around like that and catching that one little fish already, I can already tell you it's the rod itself is stiffer. It's just, it's more stiff. It's got like a girthier feel to it. It's really, really crazy. Oh, got one. Let's go. I didn't even know he had it. Didn't even know he had it. Didn't even know he had it. It's a jet. That's what we came for. That's what we want. 
Check that out, ladies and gents. First actually cool fish of the day right here under this dock on the Flex Seal fishing rod. How awesome is that? These things fight so hard, by the way, these Jack Carvals. If you've never caught one, if you ever get the chance to catch them, highly, highly recommended. Flex Seal fishing rod or not. Anyways, go ahead and let this dude go, see if we can catch some more. Oh, see ya. There we go, lane snapper this time. Or is that a lane? No, that's a baby mangrove. Look at that beautiful colors on this fish. Look at that blue stripe under his eye. That's so awesome, such a pretty fish. This rod is actually, the whole flex seal concept behind this rod has turned out to not be that bad. I just got boofed on. This fish just pooped all over me, look at that. We got two bridges right here that I, I think potentially could hold some really good fish. Trey's over there throwing a spook right now. I've got the shrimp. We're gonna keep fishing, like I said, and uh, keep putting this rod to the test. I'm having a blast doing this. Hope you guys uh, are enjoying. Don't forget, if you are enjoying it, hit that thumbs up. It, uh, it greatly helps the channel. It's free to do, it costs nothing. With that being said, let's get this dude back and uh, let's try to catch another one. Trying to flip around on these, these little mangroves right here by this bridge. This is where uh, fish usually like to hang out in these little shadows and then right here under this bridge. Oh, there we go. What we got? Oh my God. What is that? A mangrove. Oh. oh my God. Oh, look, doubles, doubles. Trey's doubled. What do you got? <laughs> Trey's got him a little snapper. All right, let me lift this out a little bit. Holy smokes, look at this fish. This flex seal rod right here um, has been insane. It's been crazy. I, there's no words at how good this thing actually is. This flex seal fishing rod has proved to be the sauce. Catching numerous fish today. This is awesome. This, this is a stud snapper right here. This thing is, I'm trying to go back and forth in my kayak, but this thing is awesome beautiful fish. All right, here we go. Pause right here really quick. This is how you enter to win this Osprey 1000 Florida Fishing Product Spinning Reel. All you have to do, you have to have the notification bell turned on, okay? You have to like this video and you have to comment down below in the comment section what you thought about the rod. It doesn't matter what you say about the rod, if you think it was a terrible idea, if you think it was trash, whatever you wanna say, if you think it was cool, you think the rod was gonna be heavier, you think it was gonna handle fish differently, anything you wanna say about it whatsoever, that is gonna be the three things that you have to do to enter to win that reel. Also, if you want a bonus entry, all you have to do is share the video. It doesn't matter how you share it. If you wanna put it on your Facebook or your Instagram uh, story or post or whatever, if you wanna text it to somebody, it doesn't matter however you share it, a share is a bonus entry. Now, with that said, we're gonna let this video run for about 10 days, so we're gonna pick a winner for this reel on April 10th. Don't miss it. That's why you gotta have that notification bell turn on. That way you gotta see when I post these videos and when I post the winner to this fishing reel. Also stay tuned because we've got plenty of other giveaways coming. We're teaming up with a lot of people doing a lot of big giveaways this year. You guys don't wanna miss out on that, I promise. But let's get back on the water and keep on fishing. So far, it's been an awesome day. Me and Trey out here uh, fishing these mangroves and these bridges. It's been so much fun. We've caught so many fish. The Flex Seal fishing rod right here has stood up i mean it, it it's been awesome but one thing i can say about this rod actually i guess two things it definitely the rod itself is heavier okay and i think it's just the material that whatever this is maybe it kind of feels rubbery if that makes sense it kind of feels a little rubbery uh, and then two the rod is definitely a little more stiff than it used to be okay so it, it used to be a medium light now it kind of feels more of just like a medium kind of got like a medium feel to it but uh overall I'm enjoying it, having a blast. Who else do you know in the world has flex sealed a fishing rod? Oh yeah, there you go. There you go, Trey, there you go, good cast. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get back to fishing. I'm gonna get re-rigged and, and tied up and then we're gonna get back on this bridge and these mangroves, see if we can catch something else. <gasps> no, dude, not my favorite AFCO shirt, bro. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no, no. No, I'm my favorite AFCO shirt, bro. I just literally get to wear this one time. I can't even do anything right here, bro. I can't even cast. The fish are probably like, listen to these 
idiots up here. There we go, that's what I want. I bet y'all come back here in the summertime with Bob. Ooh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. That's a sheep's head. That's a giant sheep's head. Oh my God. I knew they were gonna be here. Oh, I knew they were gonna be here. Oh, I gotta get them in the boat. The flex seal fishing rod, baby. I've never caught a sheep's head this big guy, so I don't know how to deal with this, but I do know that we are going to ethically uh, bonk this fish and we're gonna keep it and we're gonna take it home and eat it because I've never eaten sheep's head and why not add a catch and cook to this video? Look at this absolute dinner plate right here. This thing is massive. He's got some uh, stuff going on down there. We won't talk about that, but they have human-like teeth. These things are insane. This this is a absolute dinner plate right here. I couldn't be more excited to have caught this. So uh, we're gonna, I don't have anything to keep him with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a stringer through his mouth and basically pull him behind the kayak until we get back on. We're gonna have to bonk him soon though. Super awesome catch on the flex seal rod. Don't get no better than that, guys. This video, this has been a good day. What do we got here? Seventh species of the day. We got us a catfish. I don't even want to touch this thing. All right, dude. See ya. I don't want nothing to do with that guy. There we go. There we go. What we got? Oh, it's another catfish. That was a very awkward hook set. All right, I want this dude out of the out of the yak. There he goes. There he goes. Let's see if there's any other fish under here besides a catfish. There we go. That's a good fish. Oh. You guys ain't gonna believe it. I said, there we go, that's a good fish. And it's a stick. Look, guys, listen. Don't tell nobody about, about that, okay? Don't tell nobody about that. I literally just said, look guys, it's a good fish. And it was a stick. All right, well, I think that means it's time for me to drink some water. Getting a little delusional. I really just said, look guys, that's a good fish. And it was a stick. Anyways, it's been a good day out here on the water with the, uh, the new St. Croix Flex Seal Edition, the Yak Pack Flex Seal St. Croix, whatever you want to call it. I thought the idea was super unique and uh, I thought it was really cool. I thought you guys would like to see something like that. So that's why I did it. I always like to keep you guys entertained here on Fishing with Yak Pack. Trey and I, there's, there's Trey right there. We're gonna start headed back up towards uh, where we put the kayaks in and uh, flip some docks along the way to see what else we can catch. But other than that, it's been an awesome day. I called Jack, a couple different species of snapper, catfish, sheep's head that we're gonna take home and eat. But uh, anyways, let's get back to flipping some docks. Trey and I literally just stopped to change over kayaks. He wanted to see what the uh, the power kayak was like. And we just seen a starfish. Look at this. That is so cool. I wonder if you can like touch him. Okay, you can definitely touch him. Yo, that's insane. That's so cool. Starfish. All right, now let's uh, put him back. This has got to be the coolest little find I've ever seen. Look at that. That thing is so cool. So awesome. All right, there you go. That was really awesome. Oh, don't run it over with the kayak. That is going to bring this video to a close, but unfortunately, we have had a mishap. After pulling our kayaks up right here, you can see the little lines, I realized that we don't have our sheep's head anymore. That's not good. Uh, I tied it off with a piece of braid. Probably not the smartest thing for me to do. No? Probably not. So that's that's kind of upsetting because I was really looking forward to cleaning that, cooking it, and eating it. So big oof. I will know next time to bring something that I can actually put the fish in that I want to catch clean and cook. That was, a, that was a big oof. But we're going to load this kayak up, and then I'll see you guys here in, in just one second. That is very, very unfortunate. I'm extremely upset about losing my uh, my sheep's head. This is the biggest sheep's head I ever caught, by the way. But what this video was originally about, this right here, the St. Croix Flex Seal Fishing Rod, world's first Flex Seal Fishing Rod. I thought this rod was uh, actually pretty cool. Like I said, the only two differences that I noticed about this rod while making this video and fishing with it today was that the rod itself is heavier, I, obviously, I believe, due to the coating on it. And uh, two, the rod definitely feels a little bit more stiff than, uh, than it originally did. Like I said earlier, it's uh, 
it feels kind of more like a medium now than a medium light but i guess that may be maybe due to the uh the whole coating on it the flex seal coating on it but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new hit that notification bell youtube has not been sending out notifications okay but it's, it's upsetting hit the notification bell that way you don't miss any kind of awesome super crazy videos like this also hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video thank you again for watching and we'll catch y'all on the next adventure